I don't want to give you a softball. Um, and some folks in here may have sort of saw what happened recently with Chrysler. And I know you can't talk about that, but it's really relevant and interesting. And folks here can probably find that pretty easily on, on Twitter if you search for Chrysler. But. Well, look, um, you know, I know the, the social media thing to do is really not to do a six paragraph. So we're going to take our first question from the audience. Um, at, at Rachel Joe uh, says, what tactics that you use for political organizing can be leveraged by activists using technology for social change? Uh, you know, look, it's, uh, again, it's just building that network. I mean, everything that we do in politics, everything that we did in these campaigns is creating social change. Um, see it every day. I mean, every, I mean from every, social change just from the way journalism works is, you know, thundering on. Uh, and it's all because of just what, you know, early blogosphere. Um, the, you know, one of the things that's going on is clearly like everybody's an expert, your plumber's an expert in something. So that that person has tons of ability to disrupt Dan Rather on the evening news and say that's not, uh, that wasn't the font that an idea had and all of a sudden an attack on George Bush uh, ends up with uh, one of the great journalists of our time going out the window with most of his producers. So everything, is, you know, so social change in terms of how um, uh, you move things is happening every day. It no longer takes a big organization to do it. Anybody um, can do it. One of the things I, I wanted to, to talk about a little bit is uh, Glenn Reynolds, a conservative blogger, his book, not as good as mine. Um, <laughs> uh, Army of Davids, uh, you know, talked about how um, the, the social movement, social uh, uh, tools, networks, um, the internet, self, all of this was creating the ability for people to self-form their own Army of Davids. Um, and that, uh, you know, I started thinking about that because we were all trained, at least in my generation, um, we were all trained to be Goliath or help build Goliath, the biggest party, the biggest, uh, I mean, uh, political party. Um, we're all, we all, some of us did try to build the biggest party in college and high school too at the time, but um, <laughs> different time. But build a party, uh, you know, build a corporation, first number one, all that good stuff. The problem is, if you weren't bringing those guys now, who the hell wants to be Goliath when there's an army of Davis that may be forming, forming to either take them out or make them change the way they're doing things? Again, whether it's a leader in Egypt or, or a, a company that doesn't get it or a journalist that gets it wrong. And you know, I started to think that what this is now all about is how do you become the people handing out the slingshots? So if you want to create social change and move things in a different direction, what it's really about is using all the tools many of them uh, we just got talked about, or whether it's to move a, 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 a product, it's no longer about the product. It's, it's giving people the tools to, to talk about that product, to move the information, to become part of the social movement, to make social change. And that, I think if you start thinking that way, and a lot more of our corporate leaders, and, um, leaders of major organizations that mean well too. I mean, that, that are, are are nonprofits that are trying to do something you know pretty powerful and good, but they don't get that it's no longer about being the biggest uh, concern that's trying to solve that uh, uh, cure that disease. Um, it's about uh, giving total, giving the slingshots out there for people to join the cause of doing that and to grow that cause bigger and bigger and become more empowered and more involved in it. 